Good, good morning, morning, good people. Good, good morning. morning. How are we doing this morning? Uh, this is an awesome Sunday today. Um, you see, Pastor Angel and I are wearing our team jerseys. Uh, who we represent? Go Bucks! <laughs> and, and, and please don't send any emails, no texts. We love everybody. We love you all. But we just, you know, we've been. Well, I won't say sh- we've been. I've been mm-hmm. uh, since I moved here uh, back in 1985 during the James Wilder days. Um, that's when I yeah. think Hugh Culverhouse was the owner. Uh, I had uh, just drew to the Buccaneers and been with them ever since. Uh, good times, bad times. So um, today is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. <laughs> We're glad you're with us today. Could have been well, anywhere else, yeah. but you're here, and we thank God for you. Well, he, like he said, for me now, um, he came here for college in 85. So yeah. uh, I lived here before he got here. Never was a Bucks fan. Um, guess what, guys? I'm nobody's fan. I'm not she's, into she's not, uh, she's still not. She's uh, still football, not. She's not football, um, basketball. She got she got a little taste of basketball because sons. her sons played basketball. Yeah, I'm their fan. And she's their fan. So, you know. Yeah, so I'm not. But a, that's still a good thing. Yeah, yeah. So I'm representing him in uh, his gear. <laughs> so I come along with him. You know, yeah. She was, like, she, she was she was she was like, hey, I need something to wear. Hey, can I wear your can I wear your jacket? <laughs> yeah, go ahead, wear the jacket. It's just fine with me. You know, you you ride with me, girl. That's all right. Oh wow! It's, it's, so eighty five was a good year. Yes, it was, Brittany. <laughs> you know why, right? She's born so, there, right? Yeah. Um, uh, I'm going to say B. Christina, good morning, good morning. She said, good morning, Ewol. I good tell you something morning. funny that, you know, uh, well, not funny. You're not there. You know, we were going to watch the game. But we do have his own very son, our son, Darrell. He's representing Ewol at the stadium, I guess you say, right now. He's yeah, in, he's and, out you know, there now. He's, he's, he's with for, the staff. Um, he's working with the volunteers and staff out there. But I'm saying represent uh, Ewol, represent Jesus. Represent Ewol, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. We there take the go. church there. So to the church, Ewol to the church is to the stadium. Woo-hoo! To the church to the stadium, my lord, my yes, lord. Yes, Ewald is at the stadium. We represent everywhere today. Yes. Yes. So good Goodness. morning once again, guys. Go ahead and just say where you're from. Uh, you mm-hmm. I keep mm-hmm. saying that over and over, but you know, new people come on and let them see where you're from. Um, we're not going to talk about if you're a fan or not. We're not going to do that. No, but, we're not um, getting the word. We're not going to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna deal with the word. That's how yes, we're gonna do that. Go ahead today. and just say hello. I know, uh, no man, what you wearing? What you got on? I think I already said a shout out. Sometimes I don't see everyone that's coming in. It's, it's weird that my phone would have something different here and mm-hmm. yours. I'm trying to look here. Can't see it here on Sundays. That, but we just like to say welcome, welcome everyone. And if it's your first time, we like to say welcome. If you're for a second time joining in with us, welcome. Um, if that's you, please just message us and say that this is your. First time, and we'll just get something out to you to say thank you for um, Mm -hmm. being a part with us on today. And on Wednesday, we said it because it was the first Wednesday in February, but today is the first Sunday in February, and we like to say happy, happy birthday to all born in February babies. February, happy Happy birthday. birthday. If you are one, type in there, it's me. Type in there, this is my month. That's good. That's Mm -hmm. good. We it, still want to say connect. I know mind. some and don't, you know, but if it's you, like you said, just type in. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, it's me. My birthday. It's your birthday. That's cool. I mean, your birthday may not be till the 27th, but mm-hmm. today is the first Sunday of the month. We recognize birthdays here at Ewall, so you can say, it's my day. Mm-hmm. So that's cool. That is awesome stuff. Okay. Well, um, well we're just getting into I know the that's it. As um, far as... Um, now, so we had such an awesome family first fellowship on yes. last Sunday. Hey, Kavana. And the good morning, Kavana. See, like, I didn't see that. So, uh, who was just talking about? I can't see things, but, but it's okay. But it's so good to see all of y'all join in. Um, so, last Sunday was our family first fellowship. And that's something that we do here at Every Walk of Life. Um, every uh, fifth Sunday, Sunday of the year, yeah. we get together, celebrate family as a church, as a family. Um, we even celebrate at home in our own personal family. Some Sundays we don't come to say, hey, just enjoy your family. And uh, we believe the family is your first church. And if we're whole, healthy mm-hmm. in our homes, how, oh my gosh, how healthy are we in our communities yeah. and our church? So, uh, you know, God created the first family, mm-hmm. which was Adam and Eve, right? Mm-hmm. So that's why we, so our ministry been like this for years, years, years from the start that um, God wanted to do that. So now when we come together as a body of, you know, believers coming mm-hmm. together, we become a family because we all God's children. Yeah. So we celebrate, just have fun, games, and what have you. But let me tell y'all guys what happened. This fellowship, um, the uh, 
the coordinator of the uh, F3 had all the games, everything prepared. We did not play one game. So if you were home, Christina, you said, well, you told us to play games. Well, we tried, but the fellowship, we have not seen each other so long. We talk, we talk, talk. we walk, we talk. And it was so good to Mm -hmm. the very end. We just like, not only we ate, but it was a light uh, lunch, but it was not even about the lunch or the drink. It was just the kids playing. Mm -hmm. Um, they played basketball and they, you and know, some, uh, some the to the little ones to the playground. Yeah, well, no, yeah, so the little ones to the playground, the toddlers, and our son, um, CJ, was in. And it was so awesome to see him with the younger boys teaching them basketball skills and all that. And it was so cute. And they shared with me at um, DCA that one of the little ones could not try to get it to make a basket. And when it was almost over, he made it and they just roared for him. And I'm like, that's what it's about. We should cheer for each other. Um, so even though y'all know I am competitive in a game, um, and Mary. you know, but I do cheer for other people. Okay. So, uh, we didn't play in the games. We all was winners on Sunday. <laughs> yeah. I, they, 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 yeah. We're all winners. So it was just beautiful. So I just want to say thank you for the ones who tuned in, but we'll let you know, we didn't, um, we have pictures that was um, up. And so we look forward to next fifth Sunday. Um, if you're here in town, please join us and please join us live once again. So we just like to say we had such an awesome time on last Sunday. What a beautiful time we had with the ones who came out and the yes. ones who joined us on face, you know, on live and the ones who want to be there, um, was not able to be there, but felt them in the spirit. So, um, well, we got to just mosey right on, get into the, dive back into this word. And in this, uh, year, we know we have, uh, just, I guess they labeled, just called this what God told us to say, um, for this year is, mm-hmm. um, the goodness of grace. Experiencing, yeah, experiencing, experiencing the, the goodness, goodness of, of grace. grace. We want everyone to experience the goodness of grace for 2021. And this year has been so strategic, God is saying, for each month, how he's building us. So by the end of the year, it's not going to, you're going to forget the goodness of grace. But in the goodness of grace, we said in January, we're going to focus on meditating on his word. Yeah. Meditating, not medication. Meditation. Meditation. And that Mm -hmm. meditation is what his word is saying. And I do believe, and if it have been you and you meditate on the word and you've seen the difference, come on, give us the testimony. I want to hear from you um, what your month been like. Yeah. Even in um, chaos, I do believe if you meditate on the word, I, I know I believe because I've been there. When you meditate on the word, you can see and feel and um, actually, it's so much layers in that. So I'm not going to mm-hmm. even go in that, but meditating on the word for this month here, we're talking about, uh, we would like to see all of us, as we said, meditate on the word is experiencing healthy choices. Yeah. Healthy choices, not just in your physical body, but also in your soul, your choices with your relationships, choices, healthy relationships, finances, uh, finances what are making a healthy- mentally, socially. Go ahead, say it aloud. Okay. Uh, As you said, uh-huh, go ahead. January mm-hmm. was the month of meditating on the word. Mm-hmm. We're gonna build in layers. Because yeah. the, the word is your foundation. Build everything on the word and nothing will That's fall. It. Okay, mm-hmm. you build it. So the this month of January is called Healthy Choices. Not Healthy Choice. That's a that's a brand of food that people <laughs> eat for dietary, yeah. you know. <clears throat> but Healthy Choices. Uh, because if you are anchored in the Word, if you are built up on the Word, mm-hmm. then the next step is to build that house up. That's it. Which is to dive into, yeah, uh, we want you healthy physically. We want you healthy uh, mentally, spiritually, socially, financially. Mm-hmm. We want you met, we want you you know, healthy in all five areas. Mm -hmm. Um, Because God wants you healthy in all five areas. And that part there is better, if you meditate on that word, now you have that word to make the choice. We have to make that choice. It's a Mm -hmm. decision we have to make. You got the word now, let's make the choice to do the word. Because we hear God and they're saying, the Holy Spirit saying, I'm talking about eating, okay? Let's do that. That's me. Um, that's not time to eat that right now, or that's too late for that, or what mm-hmm. have you. But we can override that. Mm-hmm. But are we going to be obedient in it? So we got mm-hmm. it. We got the word. It's, it's uh, really even sick. saying that's not the person I'm supposed to connect with. Mm-hmm. You feel it's no peace there, and we can yeah. override it. But we want you to make the healthy choices. And when we build the other block, you'll be ready for March. Okay? Mm-hmm. That's awesome. That's awesome. Because, it, man, we can't get it. I know. You see, sometimes healthy is uncomfortable. Is yeah. healthy is inconvenient, mm-hmm. and healthy will cost you. Have you ever noticed in the grocery store that when you buy certain things like junk food, oh, it's cheap. Always on sale. It's cheap, man. Buy one, you just give it. <laughs> but when you're buying fruit, 
vegetables, all natural stuff, organic. organic. Mm -hmm. uh, what's it? What's the word they use now? Farm raised or mm -hmm. graze free cage or free, yeah. cage free or whatever. Mm -hmm. Those are organic. Those are, are names they use to increase prices because it is it costs is you problem? more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It costs because more to eat healthy. Preserve, you know, if you're doing the unnatural way, mm -hmm. what you're doing, say like you said, a farm cage chicken or what have you, mm -hmm. but it takes time to get that. Yeah. That's why it costs more. So if you if you pumping them up to keep bringing these, you know, yeah. chickens you bring them faster, faster with hormones and, and everything else, right? And 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 that's that's a whole another topic for another day. But if you notice anything that grows healthy, anything that grows how it was originally intended, takes time. Mm. Anything that's rushed or, or, or synthetically uh, 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 um, that's good. induced, that's good. Um, it's altered. Mm -hmm. So it, 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 it's tainted a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's something about, we had a conversation with our older son, Darrell, and his wife, Jay, they were standing out. They came by with the kids last night, and we were standing out in the, in the uh, driveway. We were just talking about health, and uh, Darrell was like, Dad, it's all about portion control. And making the decision, making the decision to choose what you eat, how much you eat, and being active. And a lot of times, it it's a business. And I'm not I'm not knocking the medical world. God bless you all. Uh, but a lot of things are on the patient. Mm -hmm. We we know oh my knees hurt, my ankles hurt. You're overweight. Uh, okay, well I don't you know I, I or uh, my blood pressure is high. Well you shouldn't be eating all that pork or ham or whatever you eat late at night. And the doctor's saying you need to cut back on your sodium. And you're like, well, I can't do that. Yes. So then they give you a pill to counteract that. Medication. And then, uh, you know, my back, oh, and it's, not, it's nothing major. A lot of times it's just you need to lose 10 pounds. <laughs> and, and so they give you a pill for that. Bam. So you, you're just medicating yourself and you're slowly getting yourself, slowly walking in an area of being unhealthy. Mm. But you mask it by taking the medication. And there are a lot of times when, as my wife said, there's no deep revelation. A lot of times you go in there and make that sandwich. <laughs> And, you know, the Holy Spirit just said, why don't you get a glass of juice? And you're like, yeah, but no <laughs> that turkey looks good. And I, 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 had me, I, was, I was meant to make this thing three hours ago and I forgot. So I'm going to make this sandwich tonight before I go to bed. And it's just just, just simple, everyday, practical things. Um, and it's all about temperance. It's all about, um, yeah. you say, this, you know, if you don't, if you find where you are, that's fine. I'm, I'm not knocking that. But you have some people who say, I want to I make healthier decisions. I want to make healthier choices. I want to make uh, wise choices with my health is concerned, or I want to lose 15 pounds, mm -hmm. or I want to, okay, well, there's some things you got to do. Uh, even starting, cut back at a certain hour, so, so, de decrease your portions, um, get active. Start walking 20 minutes a day, uh, uh, tw three times a week, or, or whatever, and eventually it'll, it'll get, you know, you'll. the more you do it, the more you'll be able to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, and you have you stay active. As long as you use uh, a, an object that stays that is in motion, tends to stay in motion. Mm -hmm. The more you use this, the more it will be able to be used. Mm -hmm. If you stop using them, yeah. then they kind of lock up on you. And we want you healthy. We want you whole. We want you. Mm -hmm. We want you to enjoy every area of your life. That's we want it. you That's to um, be able to make wise choices because you have a lot of money in the bank and the health is gone. You know, and, and or you can you can have uh, health. And your relationships are horrible, mm -hmm. uh, or you have great relationships, and um, you just can't find peace in your soul. So like, wait a minute, what? Yeah, some people think that you can have this or that. I used to think that you have well, at least our relationship is good. We may not have any money, but at least you know, mm -mm. you know, we, we, we may be broke, you know, but we're okay. <laughs> no, God wants you healthy in every yeah, area, area, every area. He doesn't want you. He, he's not the God of, of this or that. He's the God of both and and. Mm -hmm. he, he's not saying you have to have this. And now look, you, what, which one do you want? You want your health or you want a good marriage? Hmm. 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 Kind of like on The Price is Right. Big healthy marriage. What? what big, healthy marriage. Uh, 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 I'll go with the money, Bob. And you're like, oh, jeez, man. It's not one or the other. Right. God right. wants you to have both and he wants you to have all. So psh, let's get into And this. just know that we, we, <clears throat> he was, we we're talking more like the healthy part of what we're eating, but it's like he's so many areas there. And he brought out, it takes time, 
with that organic, you know, the grow that, you know, and that's in our lives. It takes time, time. Mm -hmm. and relationships, it takes time. So don't do, just get a quick relationship, you know, uh, quick money, fast, what do you call it? Quick fix. Quick fix of anything, Mm -hmm. you know. So allow this word that you've been meditating on be that word of those good, healthy choices that you're, uh, that you're making. So don't do it so quick just because, you know, like we say, it's on sale and we get, you know, it's easier while we travel. Oh, let's just go, you know, to a fast food restaurant, you know, just, but think about the drive before you go. So let me put those healthy snacks in the car, you know, think about those things. Or when we talk about relationships, think about the relationships you connect into or businesses or what have you to just make sure. So, and I'll say this real quick. It's nothing wrong with having the Snickers. Every now and then, there's nothing wrong with having the hamburger. You say, well, I got a pass, I got a taste for a cheeseburger. There's nothing wrong with that. It, but that don't, certain things should not be the staple of your diet. Mm-hmm. You know, must cer- be, cer- we must be on it with the I don't know what is what the deal the here. I don't know what's part. going on here. <laughs> uh, certain things should be the staple of yeah. your diet. Because I just even, like even, uh, I'll say wait, this, uh-huh. just like even in the word. The word is oh. supposed to, the word is your staple. Mm-hmm. But when That's you something. do it, Mm-hmm. Just because, oh, it's five o'clock. I always read the word at five o'clock. Mm-hmm. It becomes religion, and when religion becomes your staple, mm-hmm. everything else around you is tainted. Everything around you gets altered. So when you say, "My children know at five o'clock, I have my prayer time," <laughs> and the kids in there playing, and, and one of them, you know, they're, they're playing with the toys, and, and something hits the table, and, and the books fall off the table, and making a loud noise, and you start screaming out the room. Don't you know I'm in here praying? You better keep that noise down in there. And that's religion. Yeah. Okay, because kids will know, they'll have a, a dim view of, of who God, God is, is because you're caught in religion. Mm-hmm. Not They won't have a dim view of religion. They have a dim, re, a, a dim view of who God is because you're attaching mm-hmm. your representation of who God is yeah. to them. Mm-hmm. And they don't know how to decipher religion from God. Yeah, that's so true. I like what you said. It's nothing... I always say, don't let it have you. You have it, there you go. and that—that's my brother is a prime example. You used him last night to the—he—he he has a. I'm telling you, he has a nice body. My brother, my one right up under me. I'm a, James. No. <laughs> he has such a nice body, but you know, he said when he get that, you know, just want something sweet, sweet. or what have you, he go taste that one cookie, and that's it. He got the. That's what he desired that taste, but it's not like. The taste don't have just to over oh, yeah, yeah. Indul- uh, overindulge in it. I'm like, wow, that is so powerful, mm-hmm. you know. So uh, I'm glad he shared that with me. So now I got to go be obedient to it. So okay, all right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pray, and yes, we're gonna jump, jump into this um, this word. <laughs> Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, and I thank you for everyone that's um, a part of Ewall right now. Join yes, into Lord. Lord God concerning your word. Father, what we shared earlier, I know it had to penetrate hearts, Lord Jesus. Yes. And I just thank you right now for your goodness and your kindness, Lord Jesus. Yes, your Lord. goodness, Lord God, your grace, Lord God. We're here because of your grace. It's yes. not that we did everything right, Lord. It's by your grace and your mercy mm-hmm. that we stand, sit here before you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you for every household that's joined in. Yes. And we pray blessings over them, Father. Blessings of understanding of your word. Yes, blessings, Lord. Lord Jesus. We speak, they in their meditation, Lord God, they become obedient to what they hear and what they read, Lord God, through you, Lord yes, Jesus. Lord. This month, Lord God, we will focus on making healthy choices. Yes, and Lord. that's being whole in you, Father, to be able to do that. Yes. And we thank you right now for all the things you have already done. Thank you for what you're doing now and yes. what you're going to do. So right now, we serve notice to the enemy that you have no right to yes. come and steal this word yes. that's going to be released on Hallelujah. today. That no slumber or sleep yes. can steal this word in, yes. the, name in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Every heart, Every heart is good ground. Yes. In the name of of Jesus. Jesus. So this word shall come, Lord God, with boldness and excellence, Lord God, because you is sending it, Lord Jesus. And we thank you right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. So I just go ahead. We got to go back to those. I want to share that. I I got to recap because we've been gone for, you know. So, Pastor, how much recapping are we going to do? Just just hang with me, okay? Just, Just hold tight. We, we got we to kick some things off, mm-hmm. and, and, and this is how it goes. All right. Uh, experiencing the goodness of grace. This is where we are. We are we are on the third part of a, we're on the third, the last leg yeah. of a three-part 
<laughs> section that we talked about calling that we, we excel in everything. Okay, now I got to hit you with the foundation scriptures, then we'll hit you with the lesson scripture, and then we'll go on in. The foundation scripture comes from John chapter 1, verse 16 through 17 in the Amplified. And it says this, For out of his fullness, the superabundance of his grace and truth, we have all received grace upon grace, mm -hmm. spiritual blessings upon spiritual blessing, favor upon favor, mm -hmm. and gift heaped upon gift. For the law was given through Moses, Jesus, yeah. but grace... What's grace? The unearned, undeserved favor of God and truth came through Jesus Christ. Now, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, uh, 2 Corinthians, sorry, chapter 12, verse 9 through 10 in the Passion Translation says it like this. Well, I just said, we'll just read verse 9. Mm -hmm. And it says it like this. And this is Paul writing to the church at Corinth. And he was talking about the times he had to deal with some things. And he said, this is what God told him. He said, my grace is always more than enough for you. And my power finds its full expression through your weakness. So I will celebrate my weaknesses for when I am weak, I sense more deeply the mighty power of Christ living in me. Those are our foundation scriptures. What's the lesson scripture? Well, the lesson scripture is where we got, got broken down the, these seven aspects. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it is 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 7. And the Passion Translation says it like this. You do well and excel in every respect, in unstoppable faith, in powerful preaching, in revelation knowledge, in your passion, your passionate devotion, and in your sharing the love we share, have shown to you. So make sure that you also excel in grace-filled generosity. I'm going to just read you the seven, okay? The features of godliness in this verse should be seen in our lives and ministries. Well, what are those features? The first one is we excel in everything. Mm -hmm. Second one is we have the unstoppable faith. Three, we have an anointing of grace to speak the word. Four, we have revelation knowledge. Five, we have passionate devotion. Six, we show love. And seven, we are generous. Mm -hmm. And we are wrapping up number one. Today, I feel like I'm on a, uh, a, a, a top 10. Number okay. Yeah, number one. Okay, we're, we're wrapping up number one. We excel in everything. Okay, we're talking about how do we excel in everything? Well, we say, well, grace is the answer, but we say, well, but how do I tap into that grace? How do I tap into that grace to excel in everything? Well, there's three areas wisdom, mm -hmm. stature, and favor. The last one today is favor. Wisdom, we said, was knowledge applied. At the appropriate and appointed time, we said that stature was adultness, being fit, capable, and ready. Okay? Now, today, we're dealing with favor. Well, Pastor, what is favor? Oh, we know what favor is, Pastor. I know what favor is. Favor is, un, you know, favor is that unearned, undeserved measure. Yeah, okay, I got you. That's grace, but, you know. And sometimes, in certain scriptures, grace and favor are interchangeable. Some of them are. But today, we're going to deal with this. Today, I'm going to tell you what favor is. What is favor? And like I said, just this is from where God has laid it on my heart. I'm not saying this is the sole total sum, of, sum of, sole total sum of what grace is or favor is. But this is what I got. Favor is this: God's tangible, undeniable, preferential treatment. Mm -mm -mm. God's tangible. It means I, I can feel it. I can see it. I can experience it. Undeniable. I May mean, not. You know, some people. You, you cannot, some people try to deny God's favor on a person's life. This here, undeniable. Mm -hmm. God's divine favor on your life is undeniable. You can't deny it. Mm -hmm. They can't say, oh, you're just real lucky. They can't say, boy, you, how did you get that? Well, I guess it must be who you know, who is the, 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 the governor, the senator. It's no, it's the one who sits above on That's the throne, it. you know, mm -hmm. the king of kings, lord of lords, the one who rules the universe. The maker and creator of heaven and earth. That's, the, that's who I know. Mm -hmm. And people think that because things flow with, flow well for you in a lot of areas, they think it's because of a certain person. Now, I will say this. I, I, I read this somewhere, and I'm going to just put it out there. Uh, and this, I said, wow, this speaks to me. And I had it written down here. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Okay. It says, favor comes from God but it's demonstrated through men. 
That's good. That's good. Favor comes from God, but it's demonstrated through men. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, uh, uh, give and it shall be given. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together. Shall men give into your bosom. Mm -hmm. That's good. God, God, ATM machines are dropping out of the sky. SUVs aren't dropping out of the sky. Money's not dropping out of the sky. You know, God favor on your life is demonstrated through the lives oh, of others. Mm. And, and so this is how you see, this is the, the area when God winks at you. Those are the area mm. when God smiles at you. And we're going to get into that. Um, like I said, the, uh, the, the tangible, undeniable preferential treatment. And um, reading it in Hebrew and, and in Greek, give you a couple of expressions or a couple of definitions of God's, of what favor is. Favor is this, God's good face. Mm -hmm. Another one is having the support of the Almighty. I like that, having the support. Of the Almighty, <laughs> it's favor. You got yeah. favor, yeah, I, got, I'm having, I have the support of the Almighty. One is this, favor, God prefers you. That's mm -hmm. where you get the preferential. And the other one is this, God's demonstrated delight. Mm -mm -mm. God's demonstrated delight. Mm -hmm. I have favor. What? Mm -hmm. God's demonstrated delight on my life. Mm -mm -mm. I have I have the support of the Almighty. That's, yeah. So I was just on that one, so mm -hmm. while you go on, Get it. but my, my, my favorite one, that support of the Almighty, mm -hmm. that support. You know how you can have support on your kids' basketball team of the parents, whatever, but uh, it's so many different areas of that but when i hear the support of the almighty the almighty who created the universe the mm -hmm. almighty that uh, got, uh sent his son down the cross for for me uh yes and because he did i'm healed you know mm -hmm. hold up um i can say you know all those different things so no matter what the situation looked like mm -hmm. he's my support yeah and so I can be falling, but I know that he's my sport, my 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 uh, support. That I can't stay there. You know, I yeah. can't stay in that place. He's my support because if he support has me, he holds you. He, yeah, he, he holds me. Yeah. And I'm thinking about when you build he a maintains. home. What is that that part they have in the house that uh, that hold that? If you don't have it, what is it? Come on, can you know it? Um, we talk about it. We talked about it before, but in building a home or whatever, building a home, yeah, or building yeah, concrete, yeah, rebar, mm -hmm. yeah, a frame. Um, it's the main thing they have that support the home. Cornerstone. Yeah, it was another one when they come and bring it in. Media, you know. Hmm. But it's I can't think I'm of the name sure. of that place. You said it before, but if it didn't have that. Mm -hmm. It couldn't stand. It couldn't stand still. I don't know if somebody out there knows. Foundation? Know. No, it's not the foundation. It comes in. I remember when it was building this church, and it, you had this. You was telling me how important that it was to have this um, this part. I gotta look this up. Yeah, I know on HGTV we talk about how they have a support uh, beam. It's some kind of beam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, I can't think of the name of it. But just yeah. like that, it's so that is so important to have to keep the house up, to keep that building up. Mm -hmm. That's how it is with us in this life. We need the Almighty support, mm -hmm. and yeah. if we don't have it, we will fall. Yeah. And so, even I'm saying fall, not just say oh fall flat right here mm -hmm. on the floor. I'm saying fall in our business, fall in our minds, yeah. fall in our uh, raising our families, fall just in that. But we need His support. That's so the Almighty. And look here, the support is read readily available. And always um, is readily available. Oh, yes. And it's always favorable. In other words, you you, you will always have a, a feedback of man, I'm so glad I called you. Cause you ever you ever okay phone with phones and laptops and iPads and technology. Sometimes stuff get gets all kind of oh, cuck, yeah. mm -hmm. and you have to call tech support. Yeah. And sometimes mm -hmm. when you have to That's call good. tech support, I mean, uh, uh, nothing wrong with your IT guys. God bless you. We love you. We praying for you. Uh, but sometimes when we call tech support, you can be at work and something happens to your computer, and they tell you call tech support. support. Call tech support. And you're like, okay, wow, all right, I gotta call tech support. I don't want to call tech support. And, and sometimes you call them, and, and sometimes they 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 are not very friendly, and and sometimes. In some areas, they're not very helpful. Um, you, you, you get off the phone more frustrated than when you were on the phone. Or when you try to call tech support, uh, it's one of these numbers here. Thank you for calling. <laughs> Your call is very important to us. The estimated time of wait is 45 minutes. You're like, I need to answer now. I, I, 
I can't wait 45 minutes. I have to have this thing up in 20 minutes. And so it's, it's the, sometimes even tech support is unavailable. But the support of the Almighty is always available. Always be, that's a, sometimes that's customer issue. support that's is issue. unavailable. Mm -hmm. Sometimes customer support doesn't feel what you're going through. And even when they say, um, you tell them your frustration, and they say, oh, okay, I can't help you. Let me transfer you. Mm -hmm. And after about the fourth transfer, oh, after about the fourth transfer, man, you're heated. Mm -hmm. uh, so now someone gets on the phone. Hi, thank you for calling. This is Tiffany. Can I help you? Listen, Tiffany. <laughs> Be before we get into this, I need to know. I, I've been. This is my fourth time being transferred. I've, I've said this. I've, I've shared my story four times, and no one has been able to help me. Everyone has been sending me to someone else. Now, I want to know, can you answer this for me? I'm not going to go into detail right now. I'm going to hit you point blank. Boom, boom, boom. Can you help me? And it's refreshing when Tiffany says, well, you know what, Mr. Peterson? I can't help you with that. Tell me a little more about it. And okay, thank you, Lord. And you begin to unfold. You begin to just go ahead and, and put it out there. But here's the thing. When you have support of the Almighty, always available. Mm. Always get an answer. You'll always relieve you always leave relieved or burden removed. You'll have yeah. that. Because mm -hmm. you have the support of the Almighty. Now, let's see if we can get into some of this. I you see guys, you guys no, I see you guys' comments and it's beings and the pillars. Thank you. Uh but the pillars is not that it's not that's not it. I'm trying to find but I will find it. I will find it. I, uh, it's not a trust. Because it's, it's not a trust. What's the trust? Is it a trust? Is the trust yeah. helps did the the, the the ceiling or the roof? Is it? Okay, go ahead. You gotta look for it. We'll tune in next week. Well, she'll she'll have an answer of what she was talking about. We're, we're trying to help. But Come it right. supports. You need send it. Send help, Pastor Angela. Send it. All right, there you go. And you know what? I, 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 now, I, I, I can't remember. I know. I don't. I don't know. If Elder Lori's on here. I can't remember what it is. Uh, some of you ladies out there who are seamstress, y'all may know what it is. Uh, um, but it's that part of the dress that when you have a, um, oh my gosh, it's like a gown. You take a gown and you, you lay it over this frame that supports a dress. It's like a ball dress or, uh, uh, um, and I forget what they call it, but that gives, that gives you support as well. Ladies know about support. They have to wear dresses, bras, <laughs> stuff like that. Y'all know about support. Sports okay, bras. girdles. <laughs> Sports bra, Spanx, whatever. Y'all know about support. They have a nice day for and, it now. And, Spanx, and you need girls. something that's going to be able to support you. <laughs> you don't need so, you don't need uh, 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 what they call wardrobe malfunctions. You know, when you're somewhere at a game or at a party or you're at an event. And that's the thing about the support of the Almighty. Yes. He will never leave you. He will never have you in a place where he will embarrass. Mm -hmm. You will not be in an embarrassed predicament when you have the support of the Almighty. That's good. You know, Okay. Okay. Now, here we go. <laughs> the, the, they're still coming in, folks. Okay, we still got the answers coming in. We're gonna help her out. So here we go. What we got? We said beams. Yeah. Is, is trusted. See, I said. Pillars. We said trust mm -hmm. beams. Now here's the thing. Scaffolding. Is that it? I believe so. Can you look that up for me, please? Okay. Scaffolding. Scaffolding, scaffolding is That's something it. that is is on the outside. Uh huh. That they use as they build up. Uh huh. Yeah. And once the once they're finished, yes. once they're finished, they bring it down and it's gone. Uh, that's but it. But it was needed. That to. is it. Hallelujah. It scaffolding. That. So can you please read that? We have media back here. Scaffolding is support. Uh, what is a supported scaffold? It consists of one or more platforms supported by out, supported by out trigger beams, brackets, poles, legs, mm -hmm. uprights, posts, frames. Mm-hmm. So what I love so, about that, so it's needed to, you know, many things, many, many things, things, many things are create scaffolding. All, yeah, and all that scaffolding is needed to create a building that can stand on its own. And the scaffolding yeah. will always be there until the completion of the building. And once the building's completed, scaffolding goes away. So we always need them. scaffolding. <laughs> yes, we always because we're always look. That's good. We always we build God, like God we're is, doing this he's year. Scaffolding. He's scaffolding. We're, <laughs> he is, he's, he's that's our scaffold. support. So he's always he'll always be our support and he will always be there until uh I think it's Philippians one and six. That until the day of the Lord's return. He he yeah. who began a good work in you 
Yes. I will can. complete it. Yes. Until the day of Jesus Christ. Yes. Did y'all get that? So here we're talking about every month. The last month building block was, you know, uh, meditating this month. Here we're talking about the healthy, healthy choices. choices. And we're going to keep on. We we need God. If it doesn't finish, we never get. This is what our pastors taught us in ministry school. We never get to a place that we think we have, arrive. We think we arrive. We or never get to a place where you can't be taught. And you can't be taught. So we are growing daily with him. We need the support of God in this life. And it doesn't stop and mm -hmm. to when we complete it that's when we can go home to glory okay so Hallelujah. we never get to a place that's just like okay i i don't need this staff scaffold scaffold, scaffold, scaffold. anymore yeah. i can do this by myself mm -hmm. no we mm -hmm. need god yeah. yeah he grows as mature as all those different parts is coming in it, it is good mm -hmm. but we need his support okay so from the almighty i feel so much better yeah. I do too. I'm glad you got it. I didn't want you. To, we yeah, didn't want to go to another. Yeah. Didn't want to go to another day or another week with this because that's good. And it might be bringing it back next week. Boom with the scaffolding. Okay, that's, so, that's awesome. Now here we go. Uh, where were we? Ah, here we are. Go to Numbers. Numbers chapter six, verse twenty-two. Okay. Numbers chapter six, verse twenty-two, twenty-two through twenty-six. I got it right here. Oh, I'm gonna read six, this. Okay, yeah. Numbers chapter 6, verse 22 through 26. I'm going to read this to you because this is this is this gives you little elements of what favor is. Actually, you know what favor? Favor, mm, Go ahead. favor is actually part of your blessing. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Favor is part of your blessing. Now I'm going to read this in the New Living NLT, New Living Translation. Numbers chapter 6, verse 20 through 22 through 26. Then the Lord said to Moses, Tell Aaron and his sons to bless the people of Israel with a special blessing. Now, Aaron and his sons were the high priests of the nation. And God gave him the words of what to say in the blessing. He didn't just say, well, just come from your heart. He didn't just say, uh, just say what you feel. He said, I'm going to give you what to say. And he says, tell Aaron and his sons to bless the people of Israel with this special blessing. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. And some some books, some Bibles, some uh, translations have at the top of it a priestly blessing. So this mm -hmm. is the priest that's blessing the people. Mm -hmm. And we got the part of where he says, may the Lord bless you and protect you. Boom, got that. But the favor part comes out of verses 25 and 26. Because verse 25 says, the Lord makes his face to shine upon you. Mm -mm -mm. That's what I, that's the part I was talking about, the good face. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cause his face to shine upon you. And it says, and be gracious, be gracious to, you. to you. In verse 26. It says, um, the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Okay. The Lord, mm -mm -mm. his favor is his, his, his face shining upon you. Is mm -hmm. God smiling on you? Mm -hmm. And and um thank you, Lord. He he's showing you he's showing <laughs> you favor and giving you peace. His countenance. And, and his countenance is his expressions. Mm -hmm. Um if you remember in the Bible it talks about in in, in <laughs> Genesis how um Abel gave the fat portions of his of his flock. He gave the the first to God. And God accepted it, and Cain just gave him whatever Cain had, or Cain gave God what Cain wanted God to have, mm -hmm. and it said God rejected the offering. And Abel, Cain was, you know, he, he he was upset, he was brooding, he was pouting, and God answered, "He said, Why is your countenance falling? Mm -hmm. Your countenance? What's, what's going on? What's, what's all this?" He said, "If you'd have brought me your, if you'd have brought me your offering with the heart that your brother did, what meaning what? Meaning give me your best, trusting me to take care of you, regardless of what you had." He said, "I would have accepted you too." But then he tells him, "He said, be careful, because sin crouches at the door. Oh it, it's waiting to pounce on you, man. But you, you got to master this." And he said, "Your countenance and God's countenance toward His people." He said, "He said, He wants us to look. He has a good face toward us. He smiles. He delights in us." This is what the priest was speaking over, over the people. I want you to have God's favor. What's God's favor? His countenance on you is good. Mm -hmm. He smiles upon you. Mm -hmm. He's delighted in you. Yeah. In other words, when you approach him, when you approach him, it is always a good thing. 
It is not a, oh God, I'm in trouble. Let me go ahead and talk. No, it is always a good thing. How do you know? It's kind of like if you read Esther chapter five, verse two, and it talks about how when Esther talked to Mordecai in chapters four, when he said, you need to go before the king uh, because if he finds out that you are Jewish like the rest of us, don't think this is going to save you. He said, but know this, God may find this may be, you may be brought to this at such a time as this. Mm -hmm. And so she says, okay, well, you go into fasting for some days and we'll go into fasting for three days and I will go before the king. And if I perish, let me perish. And in Middle Eastern culture, as uh, 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 far as um, the, the order of pomp and circumstance or the order of, of how things flowed mm -hmm. in royalty, you didn't, you didn't go to the king unannounced. You didn't go to the king uh, with no reservation. No, you didn't have no appointment. You just showed up. And you're just walking in here? Mm -hmm. We don't know what you're going to do. So the penalty was death. We could, you, you could be a conspirator. You could be right. up for treason. So we're going to kill you. But she, she went in to the palace. She went in to his court. His, she went into the uh, uh, throne room. Mm -hmm. And as she went in, you know the guards were, were watching how the, the king's response. And the countenance on his face was not of disapproval. The countenance on his face was not of, what are you doing here? The countenance of his face was fine. And he gave her yes, the man. prime thing that showed that his favor was upon her. He extended his scepter. And when he extended his scepter, mm -hmm. she touched the top of his scepter. And when she did that, everybody knew, okay, she's, she's, a, she, she's yeah, in. She's, a, yeah. mm -hmm. she's the one. Because mm -hmm. everyone else that walked up in here, we had a, we had full right to mm -hmm. take them out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he had the last say over her destiny mm -hmm. when he extended the scepter. When he his countenance had not changed with her. Mm -hmm. He smiled when he saw her. Yeah. He was uplifted when he saw her. Yeah. And this is the thing. God delights in you. Mm -mm. I'm not. Yeah, you messed up last Thursday. I understand that. Uh, but if Jesus is your Lord and Savior, mm -mm -mm. you can come boldly. His countenance is upon you. Mm -hmm. he, 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 smiles, he delights in you, son. He delights in you, daughter. Yeah, but I messed up Thursday, Pastor, and I messed up last Monday, and I messed up a month ago. The enemy wants you to freeze time, and he wants you to just. Concentrate and focus on what you failed to do and not remember who you are or who you'll become to be, mm -hmm. who you'll come to be. He wants you to focus on what you did and doesn't want you to focus on who you are or who you will come to be. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and see, you, you, jump, you, you jump in the head. So you, you all over the place. See, I know you in the spirit because you got on the right gear oh, and my. you're speaking, you're speaking the right stuff. <laughs> you're going to say she was able to come before the throne with boldness. What do you mean boldness? Not, a, not an attitude of bigotry, but an attitude of, man, if I'm going to get any saving now, if I'm going to get any rescuing now, if I'm going to get an answer now, I'm going straight into the throne room. Mm -hmm. I'm not stopping at anything else, and I'm not stopping until I see the king. That's bold. Mm -hmm. So, oh, you bold? Yeah, I'm not stopping until I see the king. Go to Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. I just... You somewhere? No, no, no. Oh, you got no, it? I actually had it in my notes. Okay, good. That's why I said you was all in the spirit. Oh, okay. <laughs> this girl anointed. Boy, I thank God for this woman. See, Bible says man finds a wife, finds a good thing, and, and obtain favor. favor. You got double. You're going to be able to do your thing. Man, you out there with a, with a with, man, you guys out there with your wives, you got double favor. You notice that? You have favor. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Oh, it's taking the video. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chapter 4, verse 16 says this. Let us therefore <laughs> come boldly to the throne of grace. grace, grace. That we may obtain mercy and find grace in help in time of need. Now, one translation says that you may find help and you may find favor in time of need. Favor and help in time of need. The Passion Translation, which is one of my Pastor Angela's favorite, says it like this. So now we come freely and boldly to where love is enthroned to receive mercy's kiss and discover the grace we urgently need to be strengthened urgently need to strengthen us in our time of weakness. 
we come boldly before the throne of grace. We can come boldly before the throne of grace because the king countenance toward us is good. Mm -hmm. We can come boldly before the throne of grace because we have the support of the Almighty. We can come boldly before the throne of grace because we have God's good face. You can come boldly before the throne of grace because God prefers you. Mm -hmm. He prefers you. Yeah, you have preferential treatment. You have favor with God. Now, I'm, we're going we're gonna to break this thing down and I'm, we're probably going to have enough time because we have, see, I knew it. We hit a gusher and God is sort of showing us some things. Yeah. So it, this, may, this may be part 3A and we'll finish with part 3B next week. But let me share something with you. Favor is different from favoritism. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people think favor, favor is the same thing, Pastor. No, it's not. Because see, favoritism, I'll do this number here. It's good with you when you're good. But when you're wrong, it covers. It won't, favoritism won't correct and favoritism won't confront. It just covers. Well, that's how he is. Well, that's, that's how she is. No, that that's wrong. Yeah, well, you know, that's that's what, what you're going to do. You know, boys will be boys. Or what you're going to do, you know how she is. What, okay, I'll give you one in the Bible. God shows you favor. God shows us favor. All who call upon him, he shows us favor. All who receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, he calls us, he, he has favor. Favoritism was found with Samuel, I'm uh, sorry, with Eli mm -hmm. and his Eli, sons. Yeah. When Samuel came to live in the temple, he came to serve Eli, the priest. Well, Eli had two sons that were also priests, Hophni and Phinehas. Now, here's the thing. Instead of them taking the portions that were allotted to them as priests, they were taking more than their share. They were taking bribes. And God had already warned Eli about them, and Eli did nothing with them. Because, you know, hey, they, 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 you know, boys, y'all need to stop that now. Y'all got to stop that. I mean, I'm hearing stuff from the other members that, you know, y'all not doing things that's right as, as, as priests, as, as preachers, as ministers. Oh, dad, you know, they just, they, they upset. They just jealous because we did blah, 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 blah. And because of favoritism, a lot of people stop bringing sacrifice. And because of favoritism, God approached Samuel to correct mm -hmm. Eli. Mind you, Samuel was young. Mm -hmm. Elijah was, Eli was older. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And God used a young man to correct an old man about an old thing that he had already addressed him about. And because he did not address it, the Bible says that the prophecy came forth that he would lose both his sons on the same day. Mm -mm -mm. And he did. Because war broke out, Hophni and Phinehas went into battle, mm -hmm. and they both died. And the, and the Bible also says that when they came, when a warrior came back from the war, Eli called out to him, how are things go? How the ark? He said, the ark was taken and your sons are dead. And the Bible said, at the news, Eli fell back. Mm -hmm. And when he fell back, he, hit, he landed on a chair. The chair broke and Eli broke his neck because he was a heavy man. So he died as well. And I will say this, and I'm not... I'm going to say this as best as I can, and it's with love and it's with compassion. There are many leaders in the church today who are walking in the spirit of Eli. Mm -mm -mm. You're showing favoritism to your children in God's mm -mm. church. And members see this and it's gonna taint ministry. And it's gonna taint what people hear. And it's gonna affect you mm -hmm. emotionally, spiritually, and physically. Physically. Mm -hmm. God called you to the vision, and God called you 
to those people. So God's going to give you what to share and what to say. And it's not for your children. I don't care if they are ministers. I don't care if they, I don't care where they are in the, in the church. I don't care if your son's a, a minister. I don't care if he's on the praise team. I don't care if he's a musician. I don't care if she, if he's a deacon. I don't care if she, you know, is over the children's ministry. I don't care if he's over the parking lot ministry. It does not matter. If they are not walking in alignment with what God has established. Now, here's the thing. You know when it's favoritism. Why? Because two people will do the same thing. But because one's my son, I won't invoke a certain thing. But if the other one is not mine, oh, we got to sit him down. Because that, that, is not, that does not go with the guidelines of godliness or anything. But Pastor, your son did the same thing. Well, we know we got to show mercy. Mm. Be careful with that. Be very careful with that. Because now you're going to be held accountable if you be, if you be a stumbling block to someone who came who wanted to know the Lord, but you tripped them up, mm-hmm. and they walked away. They they labeled that right there as God and have and have walked away. Well, so we got to be careful. Favor and favoritism are two different things. Okay. How you know that? Well, go, go to Romans chapter 2. Romans chapter 2, verse, I believe it's a 1. I hope y'all getting something in this. I really do. I'm, I I just had to do a sidebar, and I'm not apologizing for it, because I felt the Lord wanted me to share that. Um, I think it's Romans chapter 2, dear. Mm-hmm. I think it's verse 11. Okay, here we go. Now, God is talking about the righteousness and the judgment. And he... I'm going to have to read the whole thing. So bear with me. Therefore, I'm going to start with verse 1. Verse 1 through verse 11. Romans chapter 2, verse 1 through verse 11. Hmm. Therefore, and I'm reading from the New King James Version. Therefore, you are inexcusable, old man. Old man, not old man. Old man. Whoever you are who judge, for in whatever you judge another, you condemn yourself. For you who judge practice the same things. But we know that the judgment of God is according to the truth against those who practice such things. And do you think, O oh man, who you judge those practicing such things and doing the same that you will escape the judgment of God? Or do you despise the rich, riches of his goodness, forbearance, and long suffering? Not knowing that the goodness of God leads you to repentance. It's the goodness of God that leads a man to repentance. Mm-mm. His goodness will lead you. His goodness will say, oh my God, I'm doing the same thing. God, I'm so sorry. His goodness will lead you to repentance. Mm-hmm. Change of heart, change of mind, change of direction. I'm doing the same thing mm-hmm. that I criticize other people of doing. <laughs> oh my gosh. And the, and the word will show you. Meditate on the word. Make healthy choices. It'll show you. Here we go. It says... But in accordance with your hardness of your impertinent heart, hardness of the heart is what leads to favoritism. Hardness of the heart is what you know allows favoritism. Blindness, blind to the truth, covering up, not accepting, not willing to correct those who you hold close to, that's favoritism. Now here we go. Verse five. You are treasuring, you are treasuring up for yourself wrath in the day of wrath and revelation of the righteousness judgment of God, who will remember to each one according to his deeds. Verse 7. Eternal life to those who by patient continuance in doing good seek for glory, honor, and immortality. But those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation, and wrath, tribulation and anguish on every soul of man who does evil of the Jew first and also of the Greek but glory honor and peace to everyone who works what is good to the Jew first and also to the Greek 
for there is no partiality with God. One translation says, for God is no respecter of person. Mm -hmm. One translation, New Living Translation says, yeah. for God shows no favoritism. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Meaning what? Meaning if you are obedient and you're flowing in his will, whether you're Jew or Greek, you'll reap the abundance. Yeah. But mm -hmm. if you are walking in unrighteousness, if you are walking in, in the things of disobedience, whether you're Jew or whether you're Greek, you will receive the judgment and the punishment. That's what it means when he says he's, he's, he's no respecter of person. Mm -hmm. God is no respecter of person. But God will honor those that honor him. And that's where the favor is. That's where the favor yeah, flows. Yeah. That's where the unmerited, undeserved, uh, uh, tangible and undeniable uh, preferential treatment of God comes in. Mm -mm -mm. It comes in. And, here, and let me say this. Because the favor is on your life, doesn't mean you won't have hardships. Yeah. And if the favor isn't on your life, doesn't mean things won't go well. Mm -hmm. Some things will still go well simple. in your yeah. life. You just don't have God's favor on your life. Yeah. You'd be great in business, and God's favor is not on your life. You just you're, you're adequate in that, but you're lacking in a whole bunch of other areas. Mm -hmm. God's favor on your life is this. And I remember Pastor Taffy Dollar said it like this. She said, one day of God's favor is worth a thousand days of labor. It's, it, 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 you cannot work to gain favor. Mm -mm. And I remember you and I, we just talked about it to the kids. We said, look, favor will get you in areas where money won't. Yeah. Favor can get you money, but money can't get you favor. Mm -hmm. How do you know that? Because you have a lot of people bribe this and bribe the judge and bribe the official and bribe this and bribe, 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 bribe. And they get in certain places, but to a certain point, it just comes to an end. Mm -hmm. Certain things you cannot buy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But favor will open doors for you mm -hmm. that no man can shut. Favor will get you in there. Okay. Go ahead. You said that. Now, I was just thinking when you were saying that about your lying there now about the favor. You know, we did tell them our favor is on their lives, and that doesn't. Um, even with the favor in life, you can't be in a place that I have favor in my life. A lot of people look at that and do things outside the will of God. Mm -hmm. um, but you were saying with that, we like, and when we first went to uh, Ohio to start the first ministry there, uh, our daughter, our show was a praise and worship, not just on the, on the team, she was a leader. And not that, uh, well, she, I saw something in her account as I, I felt something in her spirit. And it's not that she was out in the street doing whatever, but just that place of where her alignment was once was, yeah. were in God, that meditation with him, it was, it, I didn't see that. And I saw it in her, and like you say, some things are tainted. So you hear lead in worship and you just singing a song before it was worship in your room, worship, you know, uh, what she was listening to before was just, uh, she was meditating on God, but something else caught her ear that she was listening to that. It was not so much, uh, when I say just out there, but it was out of alignment. Mm -hmm. And so we actually set her down. It's, it's, you can't come before God one and just to sing, it's more than just singing. And so it doesn't matter. Like, so she have favor on her life, but she didn't have favoritism with her parents as her pastors. So that's what we're saying. So it's not something um, that we said, that's Eli, but I'm bringing y'all up to, you know, here today. And she'll tell you, but you know, today she said, thank you. Thank you. What that did is brought her back to her, her place where she's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And we have to love a person enough with God's word and rebuke and love because the, the yeah. ultimate goal is you want them to, when I, like I say with the kids, you want them to get it. You know, you want yeah. a master in this. And it's so easy for us. You know, I recognize that because that once was me. See, and the thing about it is, yes, you know, get up and read the word. And I know if I'm not in that place, and when I begin to get irritated, aggravated, uh, whatever it may be, mm -hmm. I have to say, check myself. I turn into me. Why am I irritated? Why am I aggravated over this? Why did this bother me? Mm -hmm. Hey, oh my gosh, I didn't spend time in the word. I, you know, I didn't consult God on this. You know, I didn't make, why did I didn't make that healthy choice because of this? So now I have to get in that rightful place with God to be able to release the things he has for me with that pure heart. So with that, um, did she sing well? Yeah. I did a people. I don't know, but she was not in that place. But that time her sitting out, yeah. she began to get even deeper. And I'm telling you, 
it, I mean, her room is like a sanctuary. And we moved here and she moved back home with us. And I, I would go in her bedroom just to just, oh. she, it was a sanctuary of praise and worship. But that happened years ago. But she realized I cannot, just because we're her parents, one, I'm not just going to be up here doing whatever I can want to do. Mm -hmm. And then just, I can sing. No, we was, we was singing to tracks or we'll just don't have a song or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't care who you are. But that place of worship, that place, if you're out of alignment, you have to be so careful with that. Like I said, I just want to say no favoritism, but there was favor on her life. Mm -hmm. What you want to get to there? Um, I think we're going to wrap up. Mm -hmm. We're going to stop right here. Yeah. But I need, to get you, I need you to go to Genesis. Genesis chapter 39. Because mm -hmm. I said this, I made this statement. And I, want, I want you to have backing on it. Because sometimes mm -hmm. people, just because... Um, because favor is on your life doesn't mean you won't have trouble. Yeah, yeah. But know this. You have the support of the Almighty. Mm -hmm. So even in your trouble, even in your trouble, favor will be projected in a way that you still walk in victory. Yeah, and that place of wanting repentance, what you said. Yeah. Because you see the favor yeah. of God, mm -hmm. it just pushes you to repentance, push you to Him yeah. even the more. Yeah. I saw the I was in places in my life and just thinking of his goodness of grace, mm -hmm. it drew me more to him. It didn't, I mean, that place of, like you said, of the trouble or what have you, but yeah. knowing his grace, his yeah. favor is on me, it just drew me more to know him, his word, how to, I, I wanted more of him. I want to know more of this power that mm -hmm. I possess, mm -hmm. but I was not walking in it, but I want to know more of it because of his favor. Yeah. The times we had, the, you said trouble, financial trouble, to walk in places when they say, no, you, I can't charge you. I can't, you know, God, that's you, God. Mm -hmm. I wanted to know more. And so I knew I wasn't going to stay in that place. I knew he was my support. Mm -hmm. I knew I, in him there was favor. And that pushed me to know him even yeah. the more. Mm -hmm. And so, and it pushed me to make the healthy choices in my life because of the favor of God, it you know I just don't understand how people can get to a place. I have favor, you know, this open up your yeah, door over here and don't acknowledge Him. Yeah. And knowing yeah. it's His favor. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Go ahead. No, you really, you yeah you on you 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 got some more. No, I was just gonna say about that when you were speaking earlier and then stopped there, but I just want us to get talk about that support. But just remember what we've been saying about the His grace is sufficient. It's mm -hmm. more, it's everything that we need. If we can get yeah. that part, it's everything that we need. The su yeah. he's su it's his sufficient. grace is sufficient. It doesn't mean it'll, that'll do or that's okay or... It's that's, enough. It's average. It, it, it says that his, the sufficient means more than enough. Mm -hmm. It means well beyond what you may need. Mm -hmm. um, in abundance of. Mm -hmm. So when he says my grace is sufficient... My grace is in more. My grace is more than you'll ever need. My grace is is in abundance, and it mm -hmm. goes beyond where you think. Yeah, yeah. You, mm -hmm. it, it goes beyond what you think it can do. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what he's saying. Now, man. Um, yeah. Lordy, lordy, lordy. It's our twelve oh five. Okay. Twelve oh five. Twelve oh five. Twelve oh five. Oh wow. It's twelve oh five. Okay. So, um, Better than I thought. oh my goodness, uh, I need to share two scriptures with you. Pastor, we knew you weren't going to give us one. I know. <laughs> okay, pray for me in that area, all right? Um, you give him more than enough. Here you go. I got to give you the first one before I go to this one. I, I know I would. Go to Romans chapter 8, 20, Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Mm -hmm. Romans chapter 8. Verse 28. And some people may say, oh, I can recite that by heart. I kind of like Romans chapter 8, 28 because it's my mm -hmm. birthday month. Mm -hmm. you know? um, but it, here's the That's thing. Personal to you, huh? mm -hmm. <laughs> it's 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 amazing here. It says this. And we know that all things mm -hmm. work together for good to those who love God. And I need you to type that in. That's me. Mm -hmm. You, that's you, who love God, and to those, it says this, mm -hmm. and we know that all things work together for 
good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. And this, this is a, this, this all things work. This is a, pre, this is a, 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 this is a preference or this is a statement made based on what the writer said in verse 18. The writer said in verse 18, he said, for I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Verse 828 references everything that was said between verse 18 and verse 27. So it's like, I'm dealing with a lot of stuff, Pastor. It seems like I, mm. I go two steps forward, I get knocked back three. Don't realize this. Favor is still on your life. You, all things work together for the for the good of them who love God. You love God? Yeah, I love God. Okay, that's you. You're called according to his purpose. I'm called. Yeah, that's you. Call, mm -hmm. call don't necessarily mean you're in the, call yeah. doesn't necessarily mean you're a bishop. Call doesn't yeah. necessarily mean mm -hmm. you're pastor in the church. Call doesn't necessarily mean you're a missionary in a third world country. Called means he's calling you. You've accepted the call. Mm -hmm. You've received him as your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. And you've, you've made the decision. Yeah. Strategically to align my life mm -hmm. with this word. That's it. That's it. And I'm going to obey this word. Why? Because I love him. Mm -hmm. And God said, you know, Jesus said, why call me Lord and don't do the things I say? If you love me, keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. Okay. So favor is on your life because you love God. Favor is on your life because he's called you. Favor is on your life. But Pastor, all this bad stuff has been happening in my life. That's okay. The favor is still on you. The enemy wants you to think that because mm -hmm. of the problems that happen in your life, there is no hand on your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But God's hand is on your life. Mm -hmm. You have the support of the Almighty. Mm -hmm. You could be in the darkest of rooms mm -hmm. and you will have the support of the Almighty. That's Why? It, yeah. Because you won't stay in the darkness always. Okay. And Last. that part, that, nope. that there in itself, that, that's another place to go back to want to just go to God. And we're still meditating on his word. We said January, that was, you know, the saying meditating on God's word. You continue this with your, your building block here on this, this month of far as, uh, making the healthy choices. But if we meditate on his word, we'll know this, even in your darkness, once you understand and realize I'm called, I'm, you know, by God, the scripture was saying, because I love him. He, what was the scripture? I'm just, I, I want to make sure I said the words. Just love right. him and called according to his purpose. His purpose. He said, um, and we know, mm -hmm. I love that. I love how Paul said that. Yeah. We, we know. We, 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 I mean, we, we went through some suffering, shipwreck, left for dead, beat cattle nine. We, we, we know, mm -hmm. man, we beat with rods. We, 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 we know all the suffering that we've been doing, but we know mm -hmm. that all things, all things, part, work all together. things work together for work good mm -hmm. to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. It doesn't necessarily mean, it doesn't mean that all things will feel good. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean thing that all things will be good, mm -hmm. but it's saying that all the things that you have gone through in your life, yeah. God's going to pull and God's going to orchestrate, throw that out, leave that in. He's going to work it for good. And we won't know this if we don't read his word. Mm -hmm. And then once we read the word, meditate on his word, you know, you get in the mirror, you have this right here, no matter what, you know, your emotions, all those things, that's when you get in the mirror, the mirror and you say, talk to yourself like Mr. Brown, you know, you, you, say, self. you say self, self say, huh? huh? But you get in the mirror to your emotion. You say, we know. Mm -hmm. You know, get them in check. You can say, I know. You can say, I know, but you're saying to your whole body, you know, yeah. if your body is aching or whatever it may be, we know all things work together for the good. You mm -hmm. know, get with people, have people in your circle that can come and encourage you. You know, we know this. Agree with you. And agree with you on this. Mm -hmm. All things work together for the good, according to, um, I mean, I'm all, I'm a stickler making sure I say it correctly according to his um his purpose. His purpose. So you call it according to his purpose. You call it purpose. according to his purpose, and we yeah. got to understand that we have to get this word to know. And I just want to say, you know, I did see um Brian, you know, just saying, okay, pray for the um the management and that the healthy choice in this praying for that you you got it so what we do now making the choices the healthy choices here it says now what do i need to do mm -hmm. to manage you know if i have those 
issues or whatever, meditating on his word, the first thing you do, and then you can make the choice. And he will actually strategically tell you how to set up your calendar, how to set up your plan of your day. That is God. He, his grace is sufficient. Whatever you need is in him. Yeah. And so what you're doing, you're going to him first before you even can, you know, plan or what have you. It may be somebody in your life that he'll say, this is a person going to help you, help you do this. But you will hear directly from the Holy Spirit in that uh in that place so mm -hmm. meditate on his word and when you meditate on the word you will get a word from god and he will give you the design for your your uh your plan for your life mm -hmm. i think over in, in i gotta find the scripture but i think over in uh isaiah Mm -hmm. He said it gives you uh, wisdom for witty inventions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, some things work for people. Some, mm -hmm. you know what, uh, making healthy choices, eating right, whatever. Sometimes yeah, you may have to use, energy, use yeah. your phone. You yeah. got to type it in there yeah, and say, energy, you know, uh, don't eat past a certain time or mm -hmm. uh, only have this at a mm -hmm. certain hour. Some people have to write it down in their calendar. Mm -hmm. Some people have stickers on their mirror. You know, you're amazing. You all Stickers of affirmation. You can do this. We're not, you mm -hmm. know, healthy choices. Remember this, you, you know. And there's something I told, um, Darrell and I were talking last night out in the driveway, and he told me this like years ago, um, I must say about four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. And this is before he had children. You know, we're walking, we're exercising, he got me doing sit-ups and push-ups, and I'm like, especially with the push-ups. Darrell's like, okay, one more, one more. Dude, you said one more five times ago. <laughs> one more, one more. Yeah. Uh, you know, my, uh, you know, I'm shaking and I'm sweating and I'm like, okay, first you told me 50. We did 50. You know, I don't know why. Come on, dad. You can do one more, one more, one more. And you, uh, uh, and he's okay. I'll spot you one more. Uh, and then he hit, so he hit me in my mind. He said, do this for your grandchildren. Mm. He ain't wow. no kids yet. He said, do this for your grandchildren. You, you want to be healthy. You want to be around. You want to be active for your grandchildren. I'm like, oh my God, I do. And so what, whatever drives you, you know, I, I shared that with Honey and she didn't say, oh, I thought you'd do it for me. She didn't say that. Mm -hmm. She didn't say, okay, awesome. Whatever clicks, clicks mm -hmm. for you. Yeah. All things work together. Whatever that part clicks for you. Understanding that you have grace and favor on your life. That's it. Mm -hmm. Whatever that part was where, man, all this goodness of God causes me to turn, to repent, to change my heart, change my mind, change my direction. Whatever that was, it clicked. Mm -hmm. Hold on to that. Mm -hmm. But no matter where you are. That's it right there. Mm -hmm. In your certain, uh, yeah. I wrote this down in earlier, and I'm a, I was going to, I don't, we're not going to get to it, but mm -hmm. I'll just read it to you. What is favor? Favor is knowing God is with you regardless of circumstances. Mm -hmm. I have favor on my life. Meaning what? I'm, I know God is with me regardless of my circumstances. Bro, you, get, you just got laid off. I know God is with me regardless of my circumstances. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Man, you got to go file for unemployment. I know God is with me regardless of my circumstances. Man, you got to go file for Section 8. You got to go file for food stamp. Whatever. I know God is with me regardless of my circumstances. You got to get on the phone with the loan office and talk to them about how you can keep your car so you can go find a job. No mortgage. Yeah, yeah whatever. Mm -hmm. Whatever my circumstances. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. I know God is with me. Yeah. Yeah. I know God's with me. Support. I know God's with me. Mm -mm -mm. Man, you just got a twenty thousand dollar bonus. You got this, man. You get ready to move into a new house, man. You flying high, regardless of circumstances. I know God is with me. What you mean? Because I got to keep my head level. I don't let this go to my head. Don't let this twenty k think that I'm all that. Don't let me move into a new neighborhood thinking that I'm I'm untouchable. No, I still got to keep myself level, and I have to allow myself to remember that it's, it's the God. favor of God. That is all my life. Mm -hmm. God is with me, regardless of my circumstances. Mm -mm -mm. And I know we. So mm -hmm. yeah, we got to go in that part. That gotta, uh, wherever we are, you said that. So you know, you gonna have prayer requests all over. You know, wherever you are, we. The beautiful thing about it is what we're needing from God, or what we're, you know, in our minds is whatever it may be. We is we all gonna get it from the word of God. And that's mm -hmm. what we're pointing back to this word of God. To meditate on his word, you will get a word from him and mm -hmm. to and be able to make the healthy choices. Yeah. So no matter like you said, wherever you are, you gotta know that God is with you. Yeah. And when you know that you know that he's with you, 
it would draw you more and more to him. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, your choices would be different. And that's the part we stand by, that soul. The soul is three parts, a feeler, chooser, thinker. Mm -hmm. And the Bible tells us in what? Renew our minds daily. Yeah. Why? Because that's our soul part. Yeah. You know, whatever, wherever you came to a place to get to know God, but think about the years before all the things that was hope, you know, what you believe before, whatever. Now you choose to believe the word. All mm -hmm. those things are still right there. But that's why the Bible renew our minds daily to come back with what self thought or how you was, you know, taught or whatever. But now we're going with what the word is saying. Yeah. So if, you know, you didn't have the skills that you had before, but now, you know, his grace is sufficient. You know, I can do all things through Christ that strengthen me because now that I know that I know he is my support. Yeah. He is my, he, whatever it is, mm -hmm. he is my all powerful. When I can, I can lean into him. Not just that he's in me, I'm in him. You got to know that you know that God is everything that you need. Yeah. Regardless of your circumstances, regardless of what your mind is telling you, mm -hmm. you just lean into his word yeah. that his grace is sufficient. Yeah. I mean, I have faith. You said I have favor on my life. It's God. If you just look back on your life, you'll realize it was only God mm -hmm. who brought me out of the, it was God who kept me. It, oh my gosh. It was God. Yeah. But I didn't even know, I, I didn't know how to keep myself. You said, oh, it was God. Oh, God. You'll recognize it. Even just planning or what have you, you just mm -hmm. realize, oh my, it was only God. Oh, even God. when I'm with teaching the children, uh, my personal children, the um, children's ministry, the school or what have you, it's times when I need, right there, I need something to, from God to, I know it's him who give me what I need for the children. It's nothing in the book that's written, nothing I can study what that child may need right at that moment. Right. I know it's God. Right. You know, it could be chapel, he'll, Lord, what does these children need? Yeah. He'll download it. Even with children's ministry, I never just like a curriculum. No, I want to know God, what are you saying what these children need? It's mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. You know it was him when you didn't have any lesson plan come into a classroom and then this is what you have a lesson plan prepared it was god or or when you had a lesson plan prepared oh and he just changed and he it. Shifts <laughs> it he shifts it because of what was going on that day at that time yeah yeah so yeah. in your life you'll realize this happened back then blah 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 and you to this place but what we say today we want you to leave here with knowing that god's grace is sufficient for you mm -hmm. he you have favor, you have on, favor your life, on your life no matter what the circumstance is just totally trust God get into this word yeah. meditate on this word and I'm telling you your choices shall be healthy it will be it will because be. you you base it on his word mm -hmm. you know your choices um I don't know Brian I'm thinking about you the uh, uh what was it uh time management you will get that because now you meditating on his word Mm -hmm. whatever I don't know whoever had something up that's the one that's sticking out to me right now but Anything that we need, and I told you all this before years ago, Elder Dana told me this. She said, Angela, everything you need is in the word of God. Mm -hmm. And I found that so, to be true. I'm telling you what she said. It's something just resonated on the inside of me. In every area of my life, that's what I do. I go to the word of God yeah. and I see the results. Mm -hmm. And I'm so thankful to know whatever it is. And I'm telling you, it's, to me, it's like in the Bible. It's so big, like they have so many depths, and you just, you know, like you're in the ocean, you keep swimming or whatever. You just can't, can't stop it. So can't much, fathom all can't of it. fathom all of it. So it just mm -hmm. keep going. Just, it's just so good. It's just big, and just keep diving in and diving in. It's just like um, when the, see the, the different, um, not fish. Some fish we haven't even seen, but the deep divers, they'll go and oh, find yeah. some find new species. New species because. It's so, I mean, God is just that big. Mm -hmm. We don't even know all what's in the ocean. Mm -hmm. And then they come discover this. Look at this. And I think mm -hmm. they just name it just like God gave Adam um, the ability to name, name it. Name they it. just yeah. name, name, name something and what yeah. have you. But uh, that's how it is in him. We'll find mm -hmm. new things you think you know. Oh, this, this group is good. This blah, blah, blah. But then you say, oh my gosh, you discovered this. That's how it is in God. So... Continue to keep discovering who you are in God and the power that you possess um, and just knowing that he, his grace is sufficient for you. You have favor on your life. You can do yeah. all things through Christ that strengthens you. We need him. 
He's mm-hmm. your support when you feel like no one's there to support you or you don't have that backing or whatever. He has yeah, the, the support he, of the Almighty. Yes, because we have each other. And I know my husband supports me. And I tell him, I say, you, I sometimes look, I say, you take good care of me. I, I tell him that often. And I tell him how much I love him. But we do know, and I know, that God is the ultimate support. Mm-hmm. It's by him who's holding yes. us up. Okay, so you may say, even though we may not have that husband or what have you to say that, well, I had to know God is my support, even if I didn't have him. So God is a support. And this is the the physical part here with me supporting me. But we have to know that God is our support Mm -hmm. because if I take my eyes off of God and the support and look at him, that's not, that's not the, that's out of order. God is our support. Mm -hmm. So, wow. We we're not gonna finish, as you can see. We're just gonna have to put a a a, 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 a pause mm-hmm. button. Hit the pause button. Put a pin here, and we we'll have to pick up next week. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one you do know that uh, I I will say this: Romans eight twenty eight. Let that be your verse for the week. Um, all things work together mm-hmm. for the good of them who love God. And you already said it, and you and you said that's me. That's you. Mm-hmm. You love him. That's you. It's gonna work out for you. It's, I hear it. it oh may my not, gosh! Mm-hmm. It may not work out how you think it should, or how it should have unfolded, but it's gonna unfold for your good. It's gonna unfold for your good. Go. Just whoever this is for, stop looking at others for that support. And I tell you to look to God. It could be a physical person. It could be that job that you're saying I'm supposed to have promotion, but I'm supposed to have this. God gives promotion. Stop looking at others for the support. I said again, stop looking at others for support. God is your almighty support. Mm. He's your creator. Mm. He knows all things. Mm -hmm. His grace is sufficient. Even if someone's supposed to support you in this area, support you in words, and they didn't do it, God is your support. Mm -hmm. I'll say it again. Stop looking Mm -hmm. at others for the support. God is your support. He is sufficient. Mm -hmm. He has everything that you need. Even if man doesn't do it, he is. Because here's the thing. There are some in Mm. there. there, there, There's some that are called to support you. And they have not done that. But Mm -mm -mm. know this. As God is your support, as we said earlier, favor comes from God, but it's demonstrated through men. He will He will have the right people, the right circle, the right ones who will come along and uplift and uphold you. Because God knows that we're in this physical earth mm-hmm. and we still need some human interaction. Mm-hmm. He will send yeah. the ones yeah. that will, that we will, mm-hmm. he will send the ones that will support you. He will send the ones that, you know, this one was supposed to have dealt with, they were supposed to be there. That's fine. They didn't answer the call. Like Mordecai told Esther, if you don't step up, that's that that okay. Mm-hmm. But God will send someone. Yeah, yeah. Who will do what you could have done. Mm-mm. And when he told her that, she said, Okay, I'll step into it. I'll walk in it. God has not forgotten you. You are not on the back mm-hmm. shelf. You there are certain things that you are look. Lord have mercy. Um There are certain things that some of you may be going through and you feel isolated. You're not isolated, okay? We talked about this before um, in another series. God is insulating you and he's pouring some things inside of you that when you break forth, just like a butterfly out of a cocoon, people will see you, but they won't recognize you. They'll see you, but they won't recognize you. And the reason they won't recognize you is because of the favor that has been on your life during your insulation time. And and we're not going to get into that right now. We'll be able to get in that later. And that's 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 some stuff in there about next week on favor. Amen, brother. Darrell said he is my support. Amen. Amen. He is my support. Glory to God. Well, we're going to close out with, yeah. um, not closing, because we never want to close without uh, 
the opportunity if there's anyone out there that say I need Jesus as you know my Lord and Savior uh, we feel privileged to invite you to know him as your Lord and Savior yes. um, it's a number that's going to come up uh, please call that number someone's there right now waiting for you um, to lead you uh, to Christ if you say hey I have accepted Jesus as my personal Savior but for you know I I'm not in alignment anymore. I, I'm not in that place where I used to be. And I just want to rededicate my life. And somebody say, well, I have rededicated before. But you know what? Rededicate again. Yes. Just say, okay, it is me. No, it with God is no, I'm, I'm so ashamed. I'm so this. He, he's like um, a king when Esther came in. Mm -hmm. He's like, right now, he's pointing at you. Just touch it. I'm mm -hmm. here. I want you back. Yes. You know, I, I've been waiting for you. Um and so if receiving you say, you with joy. yeah, receive me with joy, yeah. you know, he's, the angels he's smiling when you happy, walk, yeah. approach him. And to know mm -hmm. that, uh, Hey, I need a place as a church home, you know, to grow and be a part of, uh, what y'all teaching the small groups, you know, we have a fourth class I'm going to have a step up class and just those small groups to know how to navigate, um, through this life or whatever we offer you, um, Membership. When I say membership, not just a name to say I'm part of Ewol, but if you want to be joined to, mm -hmm. to get the strength and uh, wisdom that's needed to uh, be in this life, that's you know membership. But joint to, uh, you that number is there and ready. We just say welcome. I welcome you in right now because some people yeah. put on Facebook to the Ewol, the, the soon to be, yeah, the people, what have you. But mm -hmm. no matter where you are, you mm -hmm. say, hey, I'm. I live in Virginia, whatever, but look how God just, he loves us so much mm -hmm. that now we're, um, technology, technology is yes, that we're connecting. So if that's you go ahead and, um, let us know. We want to be a part of that. Uh, we just say welcome to you. The ones who are deciding right now to say, I want Jesus, my Lord and Savior, praise God. And just rededicating your life back to God, praise God for you. Um, and you have opportunity right now to give into the ministry of your love of offering your gift of of your offering your tithe offering seed we've been talking you know taught you've been taught on that uh on wednesdays we talked about the seed um uh, alms giving your your tithe and offering and uh was that it that's it mm -hmm. all yeah okay so at this time um you have opportunity uh to give in your finances they say i'm you know i'm support i want to be a part of this um, ministry to uh, give. Now, when I say a part of this, and you say, oh, "Well, I'm not a member. I don't have to get." No, you can. This opportunity yeah. to uh, to sow into the ministry. And those of you who have, mm -hmm. those of you who have, we want to say thank you. Yes, thank you. We thank appreciate you. it. We, we 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 pray for you guys. We we speak blessings. Mm -hmm. uh, you're putting. So, you're sowing into good ground. Amen. And amen. because you're sowing into good ground, we we speak harvest over your life. In every in every area, every area of your life, we come into agreement with it. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, we're gonna close here now, and uh, we, wow. got, we got time for the game. No. <laughs> yeah, we do. Okay, Go guys. Bucks. No, we want you to know that here at Every Walk of Life, Jesus is Lord. It's, it's about where you're going, going, not where you've been. Not where you've been. That's, That's it. it. See you Wednesday. Love you guys so much. Take care. <laughs>